the digital roots of the product of the digital roots of this calculation. So we write down the two digital roots, 8 and 4, and multiply to get 32, and the digital root of 32 is 5. When these digits greater than 5 are replaced with Winkelum digits, which answer is correct. So <clears throat> if we partition the number here, the first part will give 3, 0, bar 2, and then we have 5 bar 3. And that corresponds to answer C. Then dewinculating. Uh, to dewinculate this, the 1 bar 2 bar 4 becomes 0, 7, 6. And then the first part becomes 3, 4, 9, 7. We have to reduce that 50 there by 1, giving 49. So 3, 4, 3, 4, 9, 7, 0, 7, 6 is answer E. What is half of a quarter of an eighth of double 64? So <clears throat> we are looking for double 64, that's 2 times 64, and we want an eighth of this, so we're going to divide by 8, we want a quarter of that, so we're going to divide by 4, and then we want a half of that, so we're going to divide by 2. And if we cancel down using proportionately, we'll have 64 divided by 32, which is 2. Highest common factor of 315 and 1050. So we look for factors. You can see that 5 can divide into both of these uh, numbers. So we'll divide by 5. And uh, <clears throat> 5 into <clears throat> 315 goes 63. 5 into 10 goes 2, 5 into 5 goes 1, and then we've got 210. And on inspecting, inspecting these, we can see that 7 goes into both of these. So we divide by 7, giving 9, and 30. And 3 goes into both of these, giving 3 and 10. And if we vertically uh, multiply these numbers together, we'll arrive at the highest common factor. 5 times 7 times 3 is 105, so it's answer E. And in the next question,